What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we are going to be talking about how you should gear Escanor and if you should give him UR gear. Now, I could have made these two separate videos, but they go hand in hand, so that's exactly why I am um, making it one video, uh, opposed to, you know, making it multiple. Now, a lot of people have been asking, how should I gear Escanor? What should I put on Escanor? I don't know. Can you help me? Right? So, we're going to be talking about both Escanors and breaking it down and everything like that because and it wouldn't be such a big deal if UR gear wasn't involved simply because um, with UR gear it's character specific but with normal gear you can just switch gear right so um, first and foremost we're going to talk about green Escanor green Escanor um, he literally all he does which he does his job very very well all green Escanor does is dishes out damage. That's it. Raw damage, right? Um, now, I got max cosmetics on him um, and everything like that. Max weapons. Uh, I mean, I need one more UR headpiece, but whatever. Um, literally, all this card is is damage, and it gets his ult gauge, which his ult does dumb damage, which he has an ignite card that gives him more damage. That's all he does. Now, for green Escanor. You're not going to see Green Escanor on any team outside of the Pierce team. The Pierce straight team, pin team, whatever you want to call it. That's his only team, really. Let's be honest. Now, you can obviously run him on Ult Rush. Yes, you can. Um, you can run him on Humans, if you will. But his main team is pin team. And that is basically to one-shot Blue Lilia or one-shot Blue Demon Meliodas. That's, that's like his job right when it comes to this game um so with that being the case how, how do i put this with that being the case you obviously want to go attack defense now um obviously is a the top two will be attack percents um the bottom two will be defense percents and then the uh, well the middle two excuse me and then the bottom two will be hp percent so his sub stats are going to be attack defense hp you and you'll go attack defense on him that's literally his mission uh the only other thing you use green escanor in would be gray demon hell with the ult rush team right so you'll run like escanor valenti green elizabeth you'll rush green elizabeth's ult your ult with green elizabeth your partner ult with green elizabeth that way everybody on the field has ultimates um you'll ult with escanor and then you just try to keep ult, like ult rushing to like burst down gray demon and gray demon hell that's all he's used for so between you know geared ungeared and gray demon hell he's just raw damage so um that being said attack defense is obviously the the clear way to go now uh let's move on to um like i said attack defense now let's go ahead and move on to red escanor with red escanor it's a little bit different um not only is he used on mono red which is his best team he's also used on pin team sometimes um which he does not dish out as much damage as much raw damage but um he has a little bit more utility because this card right here can um take away alt gauge so uh whereas where lilia would get patience by valenti escanor does not same case with Lilia getting patience by any other unit, right? Escanor will not. So, um, gives him that versatility. Um, he's a little bit more tanky because of his passive. On top of, um, this card just does good damage. I mean, you're not going to be getting the buffs if you're using him on pin team. But on mono red, he's going to be getting those buffs and everything like that. So, um, the fact that this card right here has Amplify, which gives 30% extra damage per buff. He does not need the attack stat near as much as you want to run uh, HP defense because the HP is going to be synergizing really, really well with Mono Red. Now, with Pin Team, no one's passives are really stacking. Green Escanor has his own passive. Meliodas has his own passive. Lilia's passive is for the team, but that's whatever. Um, it, her passive is universal. And then the fourth slot is King's passive, which is for the enemy, right? So no one's passives are stacking. But with Mono Red, Gother's passive can activate for everybody. 
Hauser's passive activates for himself, Arthur, and Escanor. So Escanor is already getting 8% to attack defense HP, which means you don't need attack near as much. And then Arthur's passive is also going to be for um, the humans as well, which is going to be 15% 50, to HP. On top of Escanor's passive with 50% for three turns to his HP, if you run HP defense, and like I, 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 sh I showed this in a stream. If you run HP defense, you are gear on Escanor, and you level three buff with Arthur, Escanor has 400,000 HP. Who in the game is doing that damage? Who? Lost Vein Meliodas doesn't even do that damage. Lost Vein Meliodas does not ult for 400,000 damage. There's no unit in the game that is killing him with a one shot. Keep in mind, he has 65% lifesteal. One card, and he's back to full HP. Like, max HP. So, um, it's really good for you to run HP defense on him because it synergizes well with all the passives, including his own, including he has Amplify, so he doesn't need the attack stat. Now, obviously, you'll run attack percents top, uh, HP, I mean, defense middle two, and then HP bottom two. But, um, yeah, so that is why... You will run um, HP defense on this Escanor. He's also used in, you know, Red Demon, Crimson Demon, Crimson Demon Hell. You're going to be running Mono Red and Crimson Demon Hell if you don't know. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's used in a lot more things. You can also use him as a farmer if you want. I've actually been using this team right here to farm, right? I've been using this team right here to farm uh, just to do whatever I need to do. Um, so yeah, like if, if you need to use them as a farmer, you can use it. This is the team I've been using. Um, I know this is not the best team, but I don't like moving around my gear. And, um, I have a, there's a train outside. So if you hear the train, you hear the train. Um, but yeah, I, I have like gear on like a lot of different units and I don't like to move them around. So yeah, you can definitely use him as a farmer if you want to as well. It's really good. Not that bad an idea. Um, but the question is, which one is better? And what should you do? Well, um, let me put my gear back on because, like, I, 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 um, I switched around some of my gear. But um, the question is, which one is better and what do you do? Well, um, how do I put this, right? You can, there's two ways to go about it. Obviously, you can make UR gear for, uh, well, attack defense UR gear for Escanor. Or you can go HP defense UR gear for Escanor. The better option as a free-to-play play... Well, because this is the thing, right? It, it, it really all boils down to who you use more and what you're using them for, right? Um, but if we are being honest, because I know a lot of people's preference is green Escanor over red Escanor. Generally, like, at, at face value... Just build whichever one you feel you use more. Like if you if you're going to use green Escanor more, then build build attack defense. If you're gonna use red Escanor more, you can go HP defense. Now, um, but that's if you want preference. Now, if we're getting down into the specifics, uh red Escanor is used a lot more than green Escanor, in my opinion. Between him being used on the pin team, being used on the mono red team being used for great i mean red demon being used for um i mean he's used on red demon for the first three difficulties you can't use him on red demon hell because he's not a blue unit but um and then used on crimson demon which he's used on crimson demon hell um hp for free to play players would be the better option because this is the thing right if you go look at mono red if you run four hp defense sets on this team Especially if they're UR, right? Which you, you're going to probably have UR for these two. Not so much these two, debatably. But if you're running four HP defense sets on this team, you are bound to go first. Go Gother is a coin shop. You should have them 6-6 six, six eventually. Hauser, Arthur are practically free. You should have them 6-6 six, six eventually. Escanor is coin shop. You'll eventually get them 6-6. Six, six. You should, in theory, go first every single time if you run four HP defense on this team. Now, obviously, that's not counting if you go against someone else with this exact same team. At that point, it's debatable who goes first. But if you go against any other team with this team, 
and you're running four HP defense sets, there is no way you should not be first. Right? That's that's just how this team works. Now, um, that is to say you can still go attack defense on Escador and do really, really well. Uh, you don't have to go like if you want raw damage like if you're just like man I really want to just do damage you can go attack defense. I would attack defense I Use red Escanor more than green Escanor in my opinion, but I still want to attack defense because I want damage but uh, Generally speaking if you're going to use green Escanor more attack defense if you're going to use red Escanor more HP defense um, Which I know a lot of you guys might not know which one you're going to use more um but if you do, then that's how you want to do it. If you want to wait, it's perfectly fine to wait to give Escanor UR gear. Um, I mean, obviously, if you if we're talking SSR gear, you can literally switch it out. You can give you can just give Escanor or Red Escanor a SSR HP defense set. You can give Green Escanor an SSR attack set. You don't have to make UR gear for them right now. But uh, making UR gear for Escanor is really good. But uh, you don't have to do it right now if you don't know or if you want to wait and see. But as I said, Red Escanor is generally used a lot more than Green Escanor as far as JP went. So with that being the case, HP defense probably would be the better option. Um, but like I said, it's up to you. It depends on what you do. Um, I generally use Red Escanor and I still want to attack defense just because I want to slap people as hard as possible. And if that's your goal, be hey, by all means, build what you want to build. Um, so anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.